that. A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Yelpa! just did so much damage on that thing. Oh my god, that's impressive what I just did. Is that what they are? Interesting. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. You don't even let me get to do the pattern thing like before. I liked doing that. Oh no. Uh oh. Balder, listen to me, no, 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 no. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Balder, come back! Talk to me! It's not real. Stop. 
There's too many. It Damn. is not her. No, of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree is pulling me in. Come here. Atreus, I am coming. Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me. Atreus. Again. Why won't you see him the way he wants to be seen? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. We're 
here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. Hello. You know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. <laughs> you come to us. Damn, they're toying with him. Seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the, the destroyer, destroyer of, of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard. And you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> Kratos, go back. Whoop him. Destroy him. You're gonna let them laugh at you? Well, that was educational. <laughs> that must have been taken a lot, a ton. An immeasurable amount of willpower to not turn around and just destroy, rip him apart. If this was old Kratos, this the second they would even just say the dismissive grunt, he would have slice. That's it. Let us leave this place. Happy. Crazy. Feel things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with, as part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. 
We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? Yes. I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahor. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers and foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <sighs> Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure. We've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. <laughs> I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. Sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Drawers are pretty nutty, man. They do God tier stuff. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Brr, brr. Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal... The capture device, if you would. I tried grabbing it, but you wouldn't. Hmm. Well... About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods show the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Well, I mustn't keep you further from your goings on. You're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I'm here for you. Whatever you need, I'll, I'll be create. In the study. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. <laughs> I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Right. 
drop near. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. I always help me kill Heimdall. Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him. Oh, it's the ring that multiplies, right? I, I remember reading something about this. I forget how it works, though. I don't remember how it works. Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... The lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on about, brother. Hmm. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock. We'll go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimple shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. <laughs> What was all that then? Oh, just sentry trying to hog off. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a limb and making a fuckery of it. Probably on account of all that incursion that you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came from here. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. 
I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. <laughs>